Hey guys, Dr. Daniel Lim, Board Certified Laser Dermatologist. Today we'll be talking about the definitive guide on um, acne and diet. So there is no other definitive guide but this, okay? The reason why, uh, it's not because I make it up. This is actually research, this is proven. And what I've done is I've um, done the journal reading articles, right? And I've concised it in this short seven, eight minute video. Now, if you are seeing a dermatologist right now, who says there is no relation between acne and diet, here's a good hint, change your dermatologist. Because for the last 10 years, I'm not joking, for the last decade, we all know through our research, and these are published articles, that diet has a significant impact on acne. We know that because, for example, in um, Pacific Islanders, uh, where the use of Western foods, uh, which may be uh, refined, for example, high in sugar um, and high in, in dairy and lactose, uh, we've got a spike, a sudden spike in the actual number of uh, people or teenagers getting acne and even adult acne. So um, there is a significant role of diet and acne. Now there's a lot of people out there actually selling um, <laughs> acne diets which is to me is kind of ridiculous because it's in the journals as to what foods to avoid so guys I've put a little link down here um, and one, once again I've got no affiliation with them acne.org is a brilliant website um, and it basically tells it like it is okay and it doesn't charge you for it so um, by all means click on that link below and click on the other link in regards to um, the Australasian College of Dermatologists acne diet guide and this was I think this was produced in 2008 um, so it's a decade ago so we all know about this for the last 10 years it's just that a lot of dermatologists I know I mean I, <laughs> I know just want to give you drugs and that's bad okay so um, my view and this is my take on things um, we are the last resort in regards to acne management not the first but the last because you try all your lifestyle changes your makeup, um, you basically um, you de-stress, meditate, change your diet, do all that before seeing a dermatologist because a dermatologist will not give you, um, you know, hint on how to de-stress. If you see a dermatologist, most of the time they'll just write you a script of Accutane, give you the warnings, and there you go. So guys, look, um, the other thing as well, I can cover only so much in this video. That's why I chose to use Instagram below here. Instagram is a platform for me to give you little snippets in regards to hints, in regards to how to use basically uh, the best cleansers for, um, for acne, the best moisturizers, makeup tips, diet tips, and I can do that in small segments rather than actually spending you know 30 minutes on this one video. So let's summarize it, okay. Basically, two things you need to know in regards to diet and acne. The first is that try to find yourself um, unrefined foods. So unrefined foods look, uh, well, unrefined foods are things like grains, yeah? So uh, grains, fruits, vegetables, meat, um, fish, eggs, right? And if you're looking at carbohydrates, we're looking at things like pasta, for example, compared to, um, uh, compared to and potatoes, right? Compared to, uh, one of the worst culprits is this, the instant noodle, right? So this has caused more diabetes in, uh, in countries such as the Solomon Islands and Papua New Guinea, and it's given more acne in that population than any other food group because um, these are cheap uh, and they're supposedly you know, high nutritional value. They're not, but actually they provide a good amount of carbohydrates for a very low cost. So um, that's why I see a lot of um, islanders, Pacific islanders, with horrendous acne, acne well beyond um, their generation. So uh, that is the first thing, is uh, refined foods, right? So as a guide, you can find it in all the dietary guides down below. Uh, the second thing is lactose. So we know that uh, dairy foods, sorry, I should say dairy foods rather than lactose, dairy foods um, uh, can actually modulate the insulin like insulin-like growth factor, IGF, IGF-1 in particular. And that modulates everything where it increases the oil production and changes the um, physiological or normal physiology of the pilosebaceous gland. In other words, your oil gland. So we, we know this for the last 10 years and more research is going into it, um, but we know those two food groups, right? Um, the refined foods, 
and dairy. So guys, if you're actually you're having a protein shake, uh, try to substitute that. Instead of using milk, use soy, okay? Um, but once again, this, this dietary thing, it's not just the diet. And that's why I get really, I guess, annoyed when people try to sell you a diet uh, and say, hey, this is gonna fix your acne. It's not. Uh, and you see many, many people uh, trying to sell acne diets and you pay for, you know, $50 for an acne diet um, guide. It's, it's just, oh guys, it's just scamming, okay? Uh, because we put everything in here for you. And one of the websites I like is acne.org. Um, I'm not affiliated with them at all. Um, as a doctor, we're not allowed to actually even voice ourselves in there. But they have a really good um, moderators in regards to acne scarring, like BA. But also, when it comes to context of acne, um, it's a really good resource. So you can find all your guides down there. You're better off seeing a um, uh, someone like a naturopath or a nutritionist uh, compared to actually, you know, uh, buying an ebook um, off Amazon in regards to acne diet or even subscribing to, to I guess I wouldn't say scammers but uh, entrepreneurs I guess out there so the other thing I would might, I might add is also supplementation so we know that zinc supplementation can help so basically just get some zinc sulfate from your pharmacist or chemist or health food shop or nutritionist and um, just double the intake all right so zinc is very safe to get any tummy ulcers or tummy pain basically cut down on the dose uh, safe in pregnancy as well, okay? So if I'm gonna go three, three food groups, um, we've repeated, you know, like I said, for the third time, you know, um, do not take refined foods, cut down on your dairy, zinc supplementation, and that's it, guys, it's as simple as that. Now with the Instagram, what I do is that I can give you more information in regards to everything um, compared to actually what I do now. So um, I, can, I can, like I said, I can break it up into segments. Uh, makeup, for example, it is super important you use the particular makeup, right? Uh, so something like a, a non-comedogenic makeup, mineral makeup is better than uh, liquid foundation. So all of these little hints I can summarize in one minute, right? Let your skin breathe for two days a week, yeah? Always uh, take off your makeup before going to bed. All of these little hints all make that difference. It's not about uh, your diet. It's not about just seeing the psychologist to de-stress. It's not about taking your tablets. It's the whole picture. So that's being holistic in regards to management of acne. If you see a dermatologist, what they normally would do is um, pick up a script because that's what we do. It's what we don't, um, I mean, well, I don't do well, I don't even write scripts, right? I, I, I laser for a living. So if you see me in regards to acne, what you'll find that I'll do is that I'll use um, blue light or red light or low level laser emission devices. Uh, use a uh, vascular laser to treat the PIE or redness, but also kill P acnes. So I do not write Drugs. I don't know, prescribe drugs because they have side effects, right? And um, yes, there is a time and place for Accutane, but it's not for everyone. And in my, in, well, most normal dermatologists at least, would realize it's not first line management, okay? So most normal dermatologists would not give you Accutane straight off the bat, unless you have cystic scarring acne or you failed everything else. So guys, once again, um, it's holistic management, okay? It's, uh, and that's why I prefer Instagram as a platform because I can give you snippets, uh, basically one minute snippets, but you also have a point of reference in regards to things because if you forget certain things like, oh, geez, what's the best cleanser, for example? Um, you know, what do beta hydroxy, sorry, beta hydroxy acids do compared to alpha hydroxy acids? I can break it all down in one minute short segments, but also give you reference points. So check me out on Instagram. Um, that's, um, I'm, not, I'm not stopping this YouTube channel, I'm, I'm still growing, uh, but I'm just providing you extra information. And I do think it is a very good platform that can be useful for some patients, right? Because it's on your phone, it's easy to na navigate, and like I said, it provides a point of reference. And if you like it, you can share it very easily. Um, and, uh, and but I guess you can do this same for the channel. So guys, I hope you like that um, really short segment on um, how everyone should approach um, acne in a holistic point of view, right? So it's not just about, remember, it's not just about the products. It's never about the products. It's never about your cleansers, toners, day cream, night cream, eye cream, moisturizers, anti-acne regime. Uh, uh, it's not just about that, it's about everything and that's why i say it's very complex to cover 
the whole lot in one video. I'm giving you one piece of information which I guess if you can uh, implement in your lifestyle, um, in your daily lifestyle, you will gradually notice a change in your acne. But all the other things help, right? Even down to the sunscreen use. And that's why I say, in order for me to cover this, it's impossible. Um, you know, you, we're not going to absorb this over 60 minutes. So guys, I hope you liked that video. If you like it, please subscribe. Uh, I do one educational video every week, um, or every 10 days or so. Uh, together with many Instagram posts. And now my Instagram posts are actually increasing together with Insta stories, but lots of educational IGTV um, uh, movies as well, much like what you're having here. But instead of actually going to YouTube and searching, you're just pressing one button. So I find that, hey, that platform is useful. Um, IGTV has not really taken off, but um, it's still a very useful platform for me because I can actually load my videos on there and use those reference videos when uh, patients see me, okay? Um, but like I said, all those snippets, three posts a day at least, okay? Uh, I hope to see you same place, same time next week. Please subscribe, share, chime your thoughts, tell me what you've experienced in regards to diet and um, tell me what really bad experiences you've had with dermatologists out there who just take out that script and go for the Accutane. Guys, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next week. Bye.